What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you about the zero property of multiplication and division. Okay, so the zero property of multiplication just basically says if you multiply by zero, your answer is going to be zero, right? So for example, five times zero is equal to zero, right? Negative 417x cubed times zero is equal to zero. Okay, so easy enough, right? Now let's move on to division. So the zero property of division says that zero can be divided, but you can't divide by zero. Okay, let me clarify that. So zero can be divided. So if I had something like zero over seven, this is the same thing as zero divided by seven, right? And your answer would again be zero. Okay, or I can have something like zero divided by 3x and again your answer would be 0 or if you had 0 over 5xy minus 8 then again your answer would be 0 okay so basically whenever you multiply by 0 right or 0 is being divided by something else like in these three examples then your answer is always 0 okay now on the other hand, you can't divide by zero. So basically, if we flipped all these problems right here, okay, so instead of zero over seven, if I had seven over zero, your answer would be undefined, okay? The reason for that is because you can't divide by zero. Zero cannot be in the bottom of your fraction right here. And a very basic definition of undefined basically means it doesn't exist or it, it, we can't get to it okay so that's what undefined means okay likewise if we flip these numbers so if I hit instead had 3x divided by 0 again I can't divide by 0 so your answer would again be undefined and I'm gonna abbreviate that as un def okay undefined okay or again if I flip this one so if I had 5x y minus 8 divided by zero, your answer would still be undefined. And again, I'm gonna abbreviate that as UNDEF, undefined. Now, one more example I wanna show you is what if you had zero divided by zero? Huh, who wins this beastly battle? Well, the bottom one would, okay? Because if you ever have zero divided by zero, your answer would again be undefined. Now, it can be pretty easy to mix these up, okay? Trying to remember if zero is allowed on top or the bottom. So, one way I like to think about it is just basically thinking of the most basic example of a fraction. So, if I had something like three over four, and I told you I ate three-fourths of a pizza or a pie, okay, well, I would just draw, you know, a pizza or a pie or whatever. Three-fourths means there's four pieces, total pieces, right? Four equal pieces, and I ate three of them, right? So then I would say, okay, I ate this slice, I ate this slice, and I ate this slice. Now, what if I had zero over four? If I said I ate zero fourths of the pie, does that even make sense? Well, let's see. So the bottom number says how many slices we have in total, right? So we have four equal slices, and then zero tells me I ate zero pieces. Okay, well that makes sense, right? I cut this into four equal pieces and I ate zero of them. Okay, but what if I had four over zero? Okay, and again I draw my pizza. So remember the bottom number tells you how many slices you cut it up into. So this is saying we have zero slices. And then I'm saying I ate four of them. So we have zero slices of pizza and I ate four of them. Well, that's impossible, right? You can't have zero slices of pizza and eat four of them. That doesn't even make sense, right? So that's why whenever you have a zero in the denominator, it is undefined. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.